What's up guys, John here, bringing you the third and final project I visited during my recent South Africa trip. The project is Living with Horses on Safari, and it's run by a woman named Tracy and her daughter. Hi, I'm Tracy. We are a project that's based up in Hoodspray. We've chosen to go with the horses in combination with the wildlife. We offer students like a, a variance, you know, it's not all about the wildlife. They have the choice of doing the horse riding, we go into the bush. We do lessons, a lot of um, skill riding. And then obviously in the afternoons we go into the bush and, and do anything with the conservation, the wildlife conservation. It's a lot of fun, a lot of the people that come here, some of them can ride, but some have never ridden before. And we always cater for whether it's beginners or, or advanced riders. I've never ridden a horse before, so when I found out we were going to be doing trail rides through the bush, I was a little bit nervous. But surprisingly, it was really relaxing. Not only getting to ride a horse through the wild African bush, but at the same time getting to see all these wild animals that most people only get to see in a zoo. Sometimes we can see animals. This morning we saw nine elephants. So. So I'm introducing you to our little pony called Hope. She was found by an anti-poaching patrol team out on one of the reserves. And when they saw her, they realized how bad she really was. She was completely emaciated. She had no weight on her. She was a couple of days before she would have actually died. And the ticks and the flies had got to her so badly that actually eaten away at her leg. Her first six months, she couldn't stand. She spent a lot of the time lying down. We would sleep in a stable with her just to make sure she was fine. And after a lot of TLC, See, we now have hope. We got a brace made overseas, actually in the USA. This brace was there on her front leg and her back leg to give her the support. Three weeks ago, we took the brace off, not thinking she would be able to stand or support herself. And as you will see from her now, she's completely recovered. She will never be ridden. Hope is not for us to work with her. She is just our rescue pony. And the reason we called her Hope is that we gave her some hope. I always wanted to go to Africa my whole life. It's very nice to do trails in the bush. It's a very special experience because I ride at home, but that's so much different than in the bush with the wild animals. There's something very heartwarming about being on the African continent. Whether you're waking up early to watch the sun come up, interacting with wild animals and going on game drives in the afternoon, sitting around the fire underneath the stars at night and exchanging stories with people from all over the globe, or just taking a moment to appreciate the beauty of an African sunset. <laughs> no I think no matter how many times I see the sunset in Africa, it's something that just never gets old. Yeah. 